So let's listen to this pitchy, raw vocal without any auto-tune. Yeah, but we ain't know none back then, yeah. But look at me now, shining in the front seat. My baby girl, she sit up right beside me. That needs some auto-tune. But luckily, we have auto-tune 2026. Let's try it. Yeah, but we ain't know none back then, yeah. But look at me now, shining in the front seat. My baby girl, she sit up right beside me. No, I, I would say that sounds a whole lot better. Hey guys, it's Shane Thompson. Welcome back to another video. We are here today to talk about Autotune's new Autotune 2026. So believe it or not, Autotune has been shaping the sound of music since 1997. And this new Autotune 2026 has been built for speed, efficiency, and creativity. So here's a quick side comparison of Autotune 2026 on our left and Autotune Artist on our right. Both can be used but 2026 is just a little more sleek, a little more user friendly and a little more futuristic. And I will add after using it for a few days, it sounds a little bit better and it gets super quick results. And you have your low latency down here that just automatically gives the artist that sound that they're looking for. I also want to mention that in your CPU usage or RAM usage on your computer, it is proven that Autotune 2026 uses less than any of the other Autotunes, which is great when you're loading tons of Autotune plugins into a session on all kinds of different vocal tracks. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at all the features in Autotune 2026. Okay, so here's our default look at the Autotune 2026 plugin. And we're just gonna go down the list of what everything is and I'll explain everything to the best of my ability. But we've got our vocal range up here, which is gonna be soprano, alto tenor, and baritone and bass. And then we have, also if you want to use Autotune on any instruments, you've got high, mid, or bass. We also have a auto detect button, which when you click it and you play your vocal, it will detect what the vocal range is for that audio if you don't know. Um, we go over here to key and scale. This is where you are choosing the key of the vocals. Uh, this plugin also works with auto key. If you have an auto key plugin on your two track or your music bus, you can let it decide what the key of the vocals uh, are or what the key of the music is, which then will send to the auto tune for your vocals. But you can go up here and manually change any of this if you want. You've got your scale down here, chromatic, major, and minor, which are the three major ones that most people use. But in case you have something else that you're wanting to use, we've got a bunch of different uh, options down here with this little drop down arrow where it says more scales. This will pull up, hit less scales, and it goes away. We've got uh, the interface of it, which let me play this vocal. You're not gonna hear the vocal, but you'll see it working. And you've got our, uh, our basically what the notes are hitting uh, or what the vocals are hitting key wise. And you can see the corrections being made by Autotune, which is this little bar thing jumping back and forth, which then comes down over here to the actual notes uh, buttons that the uh, vocal is hitting and you can actually change these which is super cool this is a lot cleaner compared to the piano roll that was at the bottom of some of the old autotune plugins but let's just say you wanted to take c out of the equation you just click on it it's gone so anytime it hits c uh, or the vocal hits c it's going to correct it to another note right and if you just wanted to add one, let's just say this E right here, you wanted to add E, you just click it, hover over it, click it. And I like how they light up when you hover over, um, which is super cool. So that's a super cool uh, thing that you can do with the vocals, especially if the artist is maybe hitting a key that you just want to completely take out. Um, we've got our detune down here. I'm going to be honest, I never use this, but it's cool to have. It's there if you want to use it. We have our two different modes, which are low latency and high quality. Low latency, as I've said before, you're going to want to use this on your actual track that you're recording the vocals on so that there is minimal latency on that 
track that's being recorded. High quality is going to be how you're wanting to export uh, and get the best auto-tune quality sound out of your vocals as possible. Um, so make sure you switch to high quality HQ whenever uh, you are exporting or bouncing your song out. We have the gigantic circular retune speed knob here that just looks fun to play with, I guess, because it's the biggest button on the screen. But this is obviously the most auto tune you can do your retune speed. And this is all the way at the bottom is like no tune. So you'll barely hear anything. Uh, and you also notice when you're using this, this is moving a lot more. So it's obviously correcting more. Whereas if I do this, it's barely correcting, right? So we've got that. We've got our humanized knob and our flex tune knob. Humanized knob is kind of going to be like, uh, as you raise the humanized knob, it's going to kind of get rid of that robotic auto tune sound. So a lot of singers tend to use like a good amount of uh, humanize on their vocals. So that's what that does. And then we've got our flex tune knob, which is actually going to allow some of the uh, more natural notes to come through uh, and not be tuned. So that's a good tool to have as well for somebody you maybe want, you're wanting tune, but you're not wanting to get all the notes just completely tuned. We have our two modes down here for classic and modern. Classic is going to be your classic T-Pain super auto-tuned sound, and modern is going to be a little less tuny more real sounding, I guess we could say. And then up here at the top, the uh, presets from different music fanatics uh, like Zed or DJ Swivel, Joe Gallagher, just some of these guys have put their own presets in here. Shout out to AutoTune for doing that. You can go through and pick different presets and use them on your vocals. So that's a super cool feature to have. And if you want to go back to... The default, we've got factory, and then default, and we are right back where we started. Let me show you three different examples of Auto Tune 2026 at work on three different artists. Let's check it out. If he disrespects you You got your hand out, you asking for some help, they use it against you But this the same to you would've went to war with the whole city Shawty nameless in my phone, every time I hit it, I call her baby But she know the time I'm on, told her don't mind me, I'm being crazy We on D-line, no Maradona, we get on O, I'm Tom Brady I do it all to see you smile, my mama proud of her baby I drop a hit, I'm doing shows, I know this life gonna be amazing so whether you're needing something super subtle or something super crazy like that classic T-Pain auto-tune effect, Auto-Tune 2026 can give you that. And you can use it across your entire session without overloading your system. Auto-Tune 2026 is faster, easier, and more powerful than ever. Auto-Tune 2026 is available in the unlimited subscription, or you can buy it as a perpetual license and get Auto Key 2 with it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with somebody who you feel might get something out of it. And yeah, like always, peace. Catch you on the next video.